All right, Forza Lucha fans, this is MC Hale, your second favorite ring announcer, here to talk to you for another year. This is our seventh year in a row. This is Forza Lucha, Episode 7, The Forza Awakens. This is going to be coming your way on Saturday afternoon, August 31st. Once again, we are at the Forza Arena. This is our third year in a row, the Holy Cross Rec Center, we have lovingly called the Forza Arena, is going to be hosting us. Doors open at 1 p.m., bell time is at 2 p.m., when those doors open, we're going to be having a pre-show hosted by the Heels, Pops, and Chair Shots podcast. Those guys are a little crazy. They're going to be welcoming you with open arms. I can't wait to see what they have in store. Get your tickets through the Empire Supporters Club ticket website. It's up there on your screen right now. Don't be late. Heels, Pops, and Chair Shots guys are ready for you. Now, I do have to talk to you about probably the best problem that Forza Lucha has ever had. Uh, if you are familiar with pro wrestling in general... You know the name All Elite Wrestling, AEW. They have exploded onto the scene in recent months. You've seen their pay-per-views. You've seen their YouTube shows. They're widely regarded as the number two promotion in the entire continent already, and that is not an easy task. So you, if you've been watching them, you've also seen some very familiar names from a Forza Lucha ring. Officially signed to AEW contracts are Orange Cassidy, Sonny Kiss, Joey Janela, Chuck Taylor, and our referee, Bryce Remsburg. Now, why do I say we have a great problem here? We're running the same weekend as an AEW pay-per-view, which means none of these gentlemen are going to be available to us. It's a great problem to have for two reasons. One, we are absolutely thrilled to have all of these people on a national stage, on an international stage, so more people can enjoy the hard work and the entertainment that they provide. It also means that there's some more roster spots open now for this year's Forza Lucha. So we can bring back some of your favorites. We've got some brand new names for Forza Lucha Episode 7 coming your way. Aaron Bradley, one half of the American Murder Society, will be making his Forza Lucha debut. So will Faye Jackson, someone I've personally been thrilled to work with since way back in Liberty States Wrestling. And she'll be squaring off against another newcomer, Trixie Tash, who has already been recruiting people to help behind the scenes for Forza Lucha. And speaking of top female talent, yes, Tara Calloway is back and she is on her farewell tour. Also returning are the Big Apple's Bad Apple, Matt McIntosh. He is also the current Synergy Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. We've also got Jeff Cannonball, Team Espana, Frightmare, and more. And of course, no Forza Lucha event would be complete without our commissioner, Eric Corvus. Now he saw last year how effective the Stampede Rumble match was in putting through a finalist for the Forza Lucha Cup. So he decided this year to take it to the next level. This past weekend at the Middlesex County Fair, the UWA Elite roster was there in force, and Corvus decided to take the entire roster and stage an impromptu backstage brawl to put someone directly through to the finals for the Forza Lucha Cup. What UWA superstar was there and left standing at the end of the Rumble? Take a look. All right, guys, so I asked you here today, we're at UWA Elite, we're at the Middlesex County Fair, but I am also the commissioner of Forza Lucha. And Forza Lucha has a show coming up on August 31st, Forza Lucha 7, the Forza Awakens, and it's my responsibility as commissioner to fill a spot in the Forza Lucha Cup Finals. So I figure I have access to all this amazing UWA Elite talent, and I think I want to give the opportunity to one of you guys. We don't have access to the ring right now, but I say we have a good old backstage brawl. Last man standing earns the spot in the Forza Lucha Cup Finals. Are you guys cool with that? Yeah. yeah. Do we have a what? ring bell anywhere? Yeah. Let's ring that bell. Yeah. And backstage us. Yeah, get this dude, oh, boy. Get this dude, 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 boy. August 31st, Jeff Cannibal, this is crazy! Oh, I was late what? for the party. Bear, Bear Beef, I didn't even know you were, you were here, but... Hey, Eric. I mean, listen, man, everybody's down. I guess he's the last man standing. Bear Beef can't get the last spot in the Forza Lucha Cup. 
Nice to see you, man. Congratulations. I'll see you on August 31st. You want to grab a beer? Yeah, let's go do it. Let's go. Sweet. Awesome. Thank Sorry, you. guys. Oh, oh, my leg. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. So the Forza Lucha Cup final just got a little bit beefier. So we've got a cup, hashtag Beefcake wants it, but who is he going to have to go through in order to raise that trophy? We're going to find out in the opening contest at Forza Lucha 7 this year. It is going to be the second cup qualifier. Now we don't want to be too Corvus heavy on this, on this episode here, but well, quite frankly, we need to talk about it. So we have Eric Corvus, as you know, our commissioner has decided to bring back Nicholas K. Now, Nicholas K is the creative director at Synergy Professional Wrestling, where Eric Corvus is a wrestler. So we have Corvus as the commissioner, Nicholas K as a wrestler here at Forza Lucha. And in Synergy, we have Nicholas K as the creative director, and Eric Corvus is just a wrestler. So how do we fix this power struggle? Well, easy. We put them in the ring against each other. That's right. For the first time, since the epic 30-second Iron Man match at Forza Lucha Dos Acero, we're going to see Eric Corvus in the ring, wrestling. His opponent is going to be Nicholas K. And both of these men, on this little bit of a power struggle, have decided to put a few stipulations in place. So far, at last count, we had 23 stipulations. We're going to try and narrow that down. And we're going to be bringing you updates with how this match shapes up, or, quite frankly, breaks down. Last but certainly not least, you know that Forza Lucha has had six different cup winners over our time here, but only one man has declared himself champion. That's right, Dan Champion has signed on to a tag team match going up against Jeff Cannonball and Tara Calloway. There's one problem, though. Dan Champion needs a tag team partner. Now, if you want to see Champion's quest to find the perfect tag team partner, make sure you are following us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, we are all over the place. We are at Forza Lucha on all social media platforms. All right, folks, so there you have just some of the fun and sanity coming your way when the Empire Supporters Club raises money for the AIDS Resource Foundation for Children when they present Episode 7 of Forza Lucha, The Forza Awakens. Once again, Saturday afternoon, August 31st, doors open at 1 p.m. for the Heels, Pops, and Chair Shots podcast pre-show. Bell time is at 2 p.m., but don't be late. Make sure you catch that pre-show. Get your tickets from the Empire Supporters Club ticket website. It is up on your screen right now. The link is in the description. Once again, Forza Lucha, Episode 7, The Forza Awakens. My name is MC Hale. Forza Lucha fans, I will see you at... Hey, Forza Lucha fans, MC Hale here, interrupting myself. Uh, to bring you some late-breaking news, I couldn't wait to share this with you, so... Um, putting it in the video right now. I'm editing the video that you're watching as we speak. Just got these two signings confirmed, so I wanted to tell you right away. Uh, these two gentlemen, um, are they mean a lot to me personally and professionally, and I can't wait to get them in the Forza Lucha ring. Uh, as I mentioned during the video, I worked with Faye Jackson back in Liberty States Wrestling. Uh, if, if you know, if you watch Impact Wrestling on television, you are very, very familiar with both of these gentlemen. And get ready, we are going to have uh, back from my days in NWA on fire, NWA New Jersey, we're going to have a man who is known then simply as Fala. And we also have someone who was quite frankly responsible for my interest in independent wrestling to begin with. This was back in 2002, 2003, something like that. There's a, a picture that I'll put up on the screen, a very, very old picture, I guess, you know, 15 years ago or so. Um, he was known back then as Mo Sexton. And again, you know both of them from Impact Wrestling. We have got Fala Ba and Mario Bocara. They're going to be on the in the Forza Lucha ring August 31st. Forza Lucha Episode 7, The Forza Awakens. Get your tickets. I can't wait to see you there. Forza Lucha fans, this is MC Hale, and I will see you at ringside.